how y'all doing? How was your week? Your last week, last few days. So, whew, sorry. So, last week, I went to a new restaurant that I haven't been to ever before. And yesterday, I went to a new restaurant that I've never been to before. So, the first restaurant, which I've never heard of, it was called The Clubhouse. It was a cute little decor. It was real cute. Um, very welcoming. You know how y'all go to a restaurant and, like, you can tell off the back where you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But when I went, it was actually cute. I actually had, you know, it was actually cute. You know, I actually had fun. So, it was called The Clubhouse. And me and my mom went. We tried a uh, avocado toast for the first time. And I had something called chicken piccata. It was like this lemony like sauce with chicken breast and angel hair pasta. When I tell you it was bomb it was bomb and for those who don't know what something means to be bomb it was good it was like really delicious it was something new it was different but it was actually good you know um and then with the avocado toast it i forget what kind of bread it was but it was like this soft like yeah you can tell like they cooked it it was toasted but it was still soft. So then they had the avocado on top. Then they had goat cheese. And they had balsamic vinegar. And they had like um, cut a little like red onions. It was, well, spiraled red onions. With some, it was like a green leaf. But I forgot what the green leaf was. Probably basil. Probably, I don't know. But it was actually good. Okay, y'all, it was actually good. So then, um, when I tell y'all it was so good, y'all know how many y'all go to a restaurant and they give you, like, a lot of food. You have leftovers. When I tell you there was no leftovers because it was so good, it was no leftovers because it was that good so then we went to another restaurant yesterday it's called miller's miller's l grill that is also it's in illinois both those restaurants are in illinois i think one of them is in oak park which is a suburb in illinois and the other one was orland park which is another suburb and um was it no it was not in order park it was in chicago it was at this place in chicago called chicago ridge mall it was one of the restaurants that they have outside the little parking lot outside the um mall if y'all ever have malls in y'all cities or your towns y'all know what i'm talking about like the little restaurant that be out that don't be in the mall but like y'all know what i mean like yeah you know what i mean so yeah i had this thing called i had me and my mom we had a chicken southwest um egg roll with some ranch dressing that was good it was really tasty really didn't need any seasoning which is like a lot for me because <sighs> when y'all go to a restaurant and you be like, oh, I hope this is good. I hope I don't need to add no little salt and no pepper. You didn't really need to add no salt and no pepper. It was actually good. It was well seasoned. It was juicy. The egg roll was nice and flaky. It was fresh. And you can tell it was fresh. And for dinner, I had something called pork. Also, buco. 
which is O S S O B U C A B U C O Oso Buco. Yeah. Pork Oso Buco. It was um a marinated slow cooked pork shank. And I had some mashed potatoes and graves to go with it. And some garlic broccoli. I love broccoli. Um and the mashed potatoes that was nice and creamy. Um the gravy was actually good. It was rich. Um the broccoli and it could it, it could use like um it could use some lemon and some pepper, like some lemon juice as a pepper, but it was still good. It was nice and crunchy. I like I like my broccoli cooked but I don't want it mushy. I still want it to be crunchy. I still want it to have that snap, you know? But the pork it it was tell the Lord thank you good. It one the best part the one you you know your food, your meat is gonna be good. Well, nobody I know how to season it. But the meat, you know, the meat going to be good and it's well tender as if it fall off the bone. Y'all, it fell off the bone. And it was still juicy. And like, yeah, the crust, the skin was crust, it was crispy, but it was still juicy. Like, oh my God. But it was so much. And like they gave me more meat than they did that. But it was still good. I still have some. Whew, excuse me. I still have some left over. So what I might do is. Um, depending on what time I get back from work tomorrow. Um, I might make me like a little. Um pulled pork um, leftover sandwich like that might be good e either a sandwich or a taco pulled pork taco that'd be so good like a leftover pulled pork taco I don't know about y'all but I love leftovers like I like leftovers because it's like they still got flavor in them but you can still add like fresh um, veggies and stuff and like make a whole new meal like me I don't know about John but I like pimping my leftovers I do I like to pimp leftovers but um yeah it was actually good and today I had a taste for some tacos so I tortilla from the taco that I had today. So, I ordered from this place in Chicago called Gomez. And I wanted to try something different. Like, I've been on this, I'm going to try something new kit. So, today, I try their tacos. They have this, um, hold on. They have this, um, these three tacos with some refried beans and Spanish rice meal. I don't know how much it was. Uh, um, it was actually good. I had chicken and steak and I had some guacamole and I had some spicy guacamole I had some um tortilla chips with some salsa the salsa was good but I can use some seasoning the guacamole was good but I can use some salt. 
But refried ribs was good. The taco was juicy. And the sauce wasn't too hot. I kind of like the hot sauce. But it was okay. I'm not complaining. I was very well satisfied. Like, well satisfied. You feel me? But tomorrow, my friend is this taco truck that be outside her, um, by her house. I might try them for the first time tomorrow. So they be having a laugh. But y'all know, like, when y'all be seeing a laugh, like, mmm, I don't throw everybody's food. I'm gonna see what they're talking about. And if I like it, I'll let y'all know. I might even show y'all the food. I'll let y'all know how it tastes. But, real quick, today, I decided to bag some chicken. So, I'm going to show y'all the chicken that I baked today. So now, I haven't had none of it yet. But I did give some to my mom. She ain't complaining. So when I seasoned it with, I had some Goya seasoning packets. I had some of this. I seasoned it with this. Some pepper. Some garlic salt. And the seasoning that my husband bought. This stuff. It's a good salt substitute if you don't want to put a lot of salt on your food. It's a good salt substitute. But let's see how this chicken tastes, y'all. Because I ain't tried it yet. I just took it out the oven. That's going to go. I think it's how it's cooked. Let's try it. I baked it for like 30 minutes. I don't take chicken to bake. It don't take long, but then we want it to get that, that crispy look on it. It's going to have to be in the oven for a little minute. But that's the end of my show. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to probably give you all another food vlog sorry I got hit the your food in your teeth anyways so tomorrow y'all gonna get another food video and maybe sometime this week or maybe later on today I might think but until then If y'all from Chicago, comment down below what restaurants you think I should try. And I'm going to let her know how I feel about those restaurants. But, <laughs> comment, like, subscribe. Two things.